Hi guys, welcome to Android Development using Kotlin. Uh, we'll be creating our first class using a real life example uh, in which we're going to render a list of daily forecasts for the next seven days. So we're going to start up uh, right now. Uh, let's uh, try to make our environment neat by closing almost all class is created and uh, we actually going to delete some of those classes because we don't need them we only maintain the main activity uh, let me try to make them one class and delete Adam straight down to the build gradle. We're gonna start from here. Start from your dependencies. We'll be needing the recycle view. So I'm gonna run uh, immediately after this implementation. Um, the version is 8.2.2. Come to the spot, the cycle of view, uh, version 7. So let's sync. And uh, we need to have that uh, included into the application. So after that, we'll be added straight to the layout. We're going to introduce the recycle view, uh, which is going to actually have its own uh, tag. So let's uh, let's head straight down to the layout. Let's import that tag. Now we're going to, I'm not going to make this straight layout. So I'm going to uh, introduce the recycle view. Recycle view. It's still loading, so let's give it time to complete its uh, initialization. Uh, but while waiting, just to get, let's just be able to extract the necessary uh, files. Right there in the activity file. So I'll just call it recycle this one. Cool. Now I have a uh, match parents denied. So give our recycle view an ID. I'm going to call it. That's fine. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's go back to the build gradle. Get the sync set up. Oh.
origin. So that's fine. We head straight to the Java class, which is the main activity. But before then, let's start off from the adapter. Uh, let's get to, to create our adapter. Uh, but before we do that, we we'll need to initialize the fields uh, right there in the main activity because we've just created sample. So I'm going to actually take the others. Now I'm going to initialize the field, call it wow spot cast list. And uh, I'm going to use the pretty old find view by ID. Find view by ID. Now I'm going to pass the parameter which is uh, going to be and dot um, cast recycle view. So we're going to make it as recycle. So let's pop this All right. Now that's initialized. Now you're going to call the forecast list. down to the layout manager to the display layout manager I pass this document oh. so we've actually initialized the recycle view uh, which is the object instantiation uh, so but it's kind of different from the way you do it in Java. Uh, you omitted the new keyword as you all know and the constructor call is still there but you have saved uh, some characters. A lot of other things have been saved to actually call the layout manager with the site of view. So let's create an adapter uh, which uh, we're going to uh, create in a new Kotlin class. Uh, I'm still going to try to Organize things later on for the sake of this tutorial. Podcast. Adapt. Now we have our adapt in this way. So we start off with a class. That is adapt. And uh, we're going to have it as the value items. Lists, which is going to be a generic string, but name that is going to extend cyclo view from the adapt. Now we're going to have a generic forecast. Let's adapt to point. Not great though. Let's specify our view. 
in here or we going to drive the uncreate builder right uh, the text in appearance yeah this one text is in the view group and the view type pointing at the view order so let's maintain the view we're going to remove the view order so let's remove the view order right so right inside here take away this uh we need to return It's not the Android kind of view that we're going to create as text view, which is going to point at the parent and uh, the content. Cool. So that's that for the create view order. Uh, we're going to Let's just create a class so that that arrow will go the inner class for the view order. Now that's going to take val. It's a text view, right? So it's this way, and it extends the recycler. Passing text view parent. Fine. Now you have the error gone. So what we're we going to do? We need the. We need to bind data. Bind the order. So it still take the same. Um, order this time with position of each of the items in the row, right? Now let's bind our data or the order from text view to text, which equals to the item. And its position. Cool. So now we're still going to need a get count, which we have a get. So you might not need to since it doesn't have a body, just initialize the items and the size. So let's remove this. Fine. So we have a focus list that set up uh, from here. Uh, you could see that. Uh, it's kind of clean and uh, it's, it's, it's right, right, right one optimized. But we still maintain the on create view order, the class view order, the bind view order, and the item count. Those are the basic override the overriding functions that you could use to create some bind and get item count with the class or the view order. Uh, so we'll be added straight to the main activity uh, to get our item set up right inside there. So right there in the main activity, we have our layout manager uh, working. 
uh, but now we're going to need the items so I have it as let me just bring it in instead of timing on it uh, over there so it's actually going to sit it's an at folded data that's the items which uh, we'll be uh, using so from there we're going to actually bind that to the adapt over here so we call the focus list point at the adapter and call focus list adapter and what we're gonna pass we're gonna pass the items hold on that's all so with this now you've actually created the first our list item in our uh, in Kotlin. Uh, a recap of what we've done in the build gradle, you include you the recycler view based on the version you're pointing at. Uh, you create an adapter that uh, actually takes in words, takes in a string, a list of string, and uh, it extends the recycler view adapter. And uh, afterwards, you have your create view order and the unbind view order to get stuff for you. The create view that is actually going to initialize the, the layout to get that uh, since we are just using the near text view. Uh, so that's why we have it that way. And the unbind view order is going to bind the item to the recycler IR uh, item declared in the view order. So you have that uh, specified. And uh, in the override count, you need to override that to get that also set up and so thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial don't go anywhere we'll be talking about variables and properties in the next video so we're just going to be taking it in sequence uh so at the end of the day we'll cover a lot when it comes to kotlin and the android development thank you one more time bye bye for now